hey guys it's Kelly welcome back to my channel today I am doing a product review video I got contacted by a company called NextGen and they asked if I wanted to try out a space heater and I guess they've seen some of my freebie videos they found my YouTube channel so and I said of course I'll try it out and it's been getting cold so it's the perfect time and me and my husband are looking to save money we're trying to keep our central heating and air off as much as possible because our light bill have light bills have been super high since the summer and all the storms have been knocking out the power and and it's just crazy but yeah I am a little hesitant of space heaters in general I grew up with space heaters and I've heard the horror stories and there was a couple close calls with space heaters growing up in my parents house and it was scary but this one is a little small it's not a regular size space heater it's like tiny so it's a ceramic electric heater it's two second quick heat up 45 degree auto oscillating so it'll move like most space heaters move it's got tip over protection you can't put it on carpet because it will tip over that's what it says in the uh, description on Amazon no fire thermostat control uh, overheat protection and flame resistance material they also have like a use scenario they have a bunch of pictures where you can use it you can use it in the classroom an office bedroom living room hotel and a dorm uh, and it comes with all the little pieces name pieces on the side portable clasp design easy operation wide angle oscillation and tip over protection I'm going to take it out of the box and show you I've already used it one morning when it was like super duper cold I left my heating off during the night just to try it out and you'll see that clip after my intro after I unbox it and then I have another clip of it sitting on my dresser in my bedroom so I used it in two different rooms and I want to be showing my um, giving my final thoughts on it so here's what it looks like see it's tiny and it it, here's the plate where it sits and when it oscillates it moves the whole thing and it's got like little touch pads they're not buttons but they're like they're think, act, motion activated I think I think and it says do not cover uh, it's got the on and off switch right here and the drop cord the electrical cord it's not that long it's a little shorter than I would like because I would want it far away from the wall but where I had it it was close to the wall and you can't put it on carpet I don't have any room in my kitchen the cord is not long enough for my taste but it's alright and I'm not gonna plug it up right here because there's stuff all over the instructions came with it the instructions are all on the outside which is kind of a con I would have liked a little instruction or information booklet to tell me all the pieces instead of just putting it on the sides of the box here is the heater plugged up it has to be on a level surface because it has like a tipping technology so and it is 
60 degrees if you can see 60 degrees in here and so far uh, standing like a little bit away from it I can feel the heat Yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and I'm gonna keep an eye on it it's portable heaters space heaters they scare me so I will keep an eye on it oh standing this close to it I feel it so hey guys you can't see me because I'm you're blinded this is where I have the heater in my room. I have it on right now. I don't have it oscillating, but I'm going to show you how it. you turn it from um, a steel, like, what's it called? When it's sta oh, stationary. When it's stationary to oscillating. And see the little, I'm going to have to turn the light on. You see the power button. And then the oscillating. You just touch it and it starts turning. But then the thing is, it moves. The base moves. So I'm worried about it moving. Do you see it moving? That is a con for me because it could move off the thing. It can move off the dresser and fall on the floor and break and start a fire. But I'm going to keep it on for a few minutes. And I'm going to turn it back to stationary. And I'm going to see how warm my room gets. And then I'll come back in a minute. Or however long it takes to heat up. So I left it on for 30 minutes and it did get warm in here very quickly. It got way warmer in here quick, more quicker than it did in the living room this morning. So it says it covers up to 800 square feet of a room. I think I read that on the link, but my whole house is like 900 square feet and my living room is like half of that and it did not get warm quick that quick I left this running in my living room for an hour it only went up three degrees and now I left this running in the lip in this bedroom for 30 minutes and I am boiling so it definitely covers a small closed space better than a big open floor plan so I'm going to be keeping it in my bedroom and I'm go only going to use it when during the daytime like early morning hours or early night hours. I'm not going to leave it on during the night even though it shuts off by itself when it reaches its temperature. I can't set the temperature that I want so I'm not that trusting of it. But overall it's a pretty good space heater. It's very cute. It doesn't take up much space. But it's not for big sized rooms. It's better for bedrooms, not living rooms and kitchens or office spaces. But it would be perfect for a like dorm room or an office, a closed in office, not a big huge office space. But yeah, that's my review. Thank you, Next Gen, for sending it to me. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I will be linking the Amazon link. For this space heater down below. I know some other people have also reviewed the space heater, but I haven't watched these reviews. All these opinions are 100% my own. Thank you, NextGen, for contacting me and offering me this product to review. I highly enjoy it. I will be getting a lot of use out of it especially in the winter time and yeah thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video